what's up, uh, Operation iDroid here, and oh, am I excited. I just got the greatest news. So, I follow Zod TTT on Twitter, and he follows me back, FYI, but that's on my personal account. Anyways, he just released his beta for GPSP phone, the popular Game Boy Advanced emulator that hasn't been upgraded in over a year. So, this beta was just released to the public on his new source, and to get the beta, which I'm extremely excited to get, we're going to go into Cydia. I haven't even tested out this beta, but I feel like it's going to be great. Anyways, as I said, to get the beta, we're going to have to add his new beta source, which he just made. And this will have the GPSP phone beta inside. And he says more betas will continue to be released on that source, which is fantastic. Betas like the beta for his PSX PlayStation 1 emulator and his Nintendo 64 emulator and 64 for iOS and possibly Nintendo DS emulator but that has not been confirmed yet but what has been confirmed is GPS P phone is on the source right now so we're gonna go get it by going into the manage tab once this finishes reloading my data come on anyways I'm sure most of you guys know how to add a source. We have to go into the Manage tab. Then we're going to click Edit at the top right, Add at the top left. And we are going to type in Cydia Betas dot Zod TTD dot com. And we're going to add source. This will verify the URL and add this amazing beta source, which I'm extremely excited to see. This is the first time I do this. I haven't even tested it out for you guys. So I'm winging it right now, but I'm sure I'll know my way around this simulator because me and Zod TTD are tight. Anyways, it shouldn't take too long to update the source. Mine is about to finish, and we can go about installing the beta. By the way, if you have an earlier GPSP phone version, you might want to uninstall that and then install the beta because... I don't know, I haven't tried it, but there could be some corruption between the two of them if you still have the older version. So let's return to Cydia. And now here's the Cydia Beta's source. Let's click on it, and oh, there it is. GPSP phone beta. And it's currently free because it is a beta, which is just icing on the cake. GPSP phone beta 8.0.0. All right. He still has the old description here. But... For those of you guys that know, don't know, here's what's new in this beta. All new interface. I'm extremely excited to see that. Much better cheat code support. I'll be doing a video on that. Native iPad support. Great. Native resolution on all iOS devices. So that means the screen will fit every iDevice. Better iCade external control. I don't know if I should get an iCade and test it out on GPS P phone. If this video gets 150 likes, I'll go ahead and get an iCade and test it out. Better search and download web content. Okay. Change button mapping and options. This is great. I really wanted him to do that. Switch between landscape and portrait skins on the fly. Awesome. And what's to come? Landscape and portrait rotation lock option. Add back Wiimote and Wii Classic support. So, let's go ahead and install this. And click confirm. So, as we saw, you can't use Wiimote on this update here. But it is the beta. And that's cool. I'm sure he'll be adding that extremely soon. He worked really hard on this. GPSP phone model with the all new user interface which I am very excited to see. I actually want to see how the icon of the GPSP phone looks. I doubt that he has changed it but it doesn't hurt to hope. Anyways my GPSP phone beta has just finished and I am truly excited to see how this is. If only this data would reload faster. Okay I think I'm ready. Let's go. Come on. And let's return to Cydia and go home. And where are you, GPSP phone? Oh, here it is. I knew it. He changed it. He changed the icon. Oh, gosh. All right, let's open this bad boy. Oh, I see a new interface right here. Okay. I see how this is new. Let's click on settings here. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, frame script. Nice. Smooth scaling. Nice. Select controller skin. Alright, we can add our own skins. Now, you could do that before, but it was much more difficult. Up here is his thanks to a lot of people. I see. I see this. This is nice. Done. And, well, 
Let's get us some ROMs, aka games. Let's go into the search tab. And I'm gonna ooh, coolrom.com. This is my favorite website. Oh my gosh. He me and Zod TTD. He knows where it's at. Anyways, we need to get the BIOS first if you don't have it, so we can click here to get the BIOS. Very smart of him to add this. Alright. Let's click download now to download the BIOS. And we're gonna confirm. If alright, so now we have the BIOS. Perfect. Now let's get our games for real. So this only has the search option unless yeah, this only has the search option. So we're gonna search where is the keyboard? Where is the keyboard? So TTD, you can't do this to us. I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna come right back into it. Keyboard. I am not getting the keyboard. I don't know about you guys. I'm using an iPhone 4. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna close the multitasking bar GPS P phone. I'm gonna come right back into this. And let's see if the keyboard will appear for me. Now I'm having a black screen. Back in out again. Up, oh, my screen is completely black. Uh oh. This is what you call a beta. I'm gonna fix this black screen thing and I'll be back. Alright, so I fixed it by locking my device and unlocking it. So if you ever get that black screen, know to lock and then unlock. Alright, let's see if we got the keyboard this time. We got the keyboard. Alright, perfect. So now we're going to search Pokemon Leaf Green. Anyways, if you do not get a keyboard, just go home, open the multitasking bar by double pressing the home button, hold down GPS P phone, click on that red minus, and then reopen GPS P phone. That will cure the keyboard problem. Anyways, now I search Pokemon Leaf Green. It has my results, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can get any game using this method that I'm showing you here. Now let's scroll down, click download now, confirm that we own it legally, I do own this game and I've owned a Game Boy Advance in my life, I actually still have one but it's broken, that sucks, but it's downloading, it should not take too long, ooh and there's our game, alright let's click it, up, oh, I like this new, oh wow, my voice got cut off. I think my voice got cut off. I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep going. This, this is, this is wonderful. Alright, so my voice never got cut off, and man, is this emulator awesome. Alright, so now I'm going to go into some of the features by clicking menu. We have cheats, load, and save. I'm going to save right now by clicking save and clicking the slot. And now I'm going to quit. There are the cheats. I'm going to quit to see if the save actually works, so let's quit. Yes, quit. And now I'm going to click on Pokemon Leaf Green again, go back into the menu, click load, and there is my save. It has the date and the time. Incredible. I am really liking this emulator. Um, I haven't tried landscape yet. Let's check here if it's in the settings. I know he said that you change it. Oh, here are the button, the button placements. You can change these here by um, clicking the plus or minus on the different things. Um, so here I'll show you a demonstration. Um, I'm going to click vertical size and as you can see the green area is slowly growing and as I click these pluses the green area will continue to grow and you click save to save these things or you click cancel to get out. Anyways let's go back into the game and I'll show you how you get into landscape and portrait. So all you have to do is change the orientation of your device if you tilt it to landscape as you're holding in landscape it will go into landscape as you can see on your screen and if you click on uh, locking the orientation it will go back to portrait thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to bring it out as fast as i possibly could anyways i will continue to track the development of this gpsp phone emulator so make sure you're subscribed to see all the latest videos on gpsp phone as well as check out some of my other videos on the screen thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation